Okay, so we are just a few days away from departure and we're wrapping up some last minute details here. But I wanted to put this video together. It's kind of a montage video of a lot of the little modifications that we made to the trailer and to the truck uh, in preparation for full-time living. So it's not um, gonna cover everything, but uh, you get to at least see some of the things that we've modified and changed on the trailer here to uh, get ready to head out. Okay, so we're in the master bedroom here. And here is one of the closets that you get. Kind of just a big open closet. There was a dowel at the top for uh, coat hangers to hang your shirts and pants and stuff. But I've taken that out and we're gonna now add some shelves and see if we can make this space a little more efficient. So rather than drilling into the side of the trailer, I made this board with little ledges on each space here. Spaced them out evenly, about seven and a half inches, I think it was. That fits in here and allows me to put shelves across here. I put one on the other side so I don't have to drill into the side of the trailer. So the shelves I pre-cut and they just mount in and lay on those wooden squares on each side. And then I'll just go along and staple gun those in place. I've got two more to add. Here's what it looks like all finished. You have five shelves. Perfect for storing socks, underwear, shirts, shorts, jeans. One on the other side. No holes, no nails into the trailer. Quite a snug fit and a much more efficient use of space. So one of the other mods we did was to uh, silence up our water pump. This is our water pump here that you're looking at. And I added this piece of foam insulation here. This is like pipe insulation. Uh, I get it at Home Depot, it's like three bucks. Un undid those four screws there, lifted the pump up, and split the pipe insulation, slid it underneath, and just rebolted it back on. I had to go with a little bit longer screws. But the, um, this is quite uh, spongy and sound absorbent, vibration absorbent, and it made a huge difference uh, in transmitting the vibration sounds for the trailer. The feet are rubber, so they make it to do that, but it's nowhere near adequate. So um, the extra piece there of $3 pipe insulation. And the other thing that I did too, because it's harder to see this because I've already put it on there, but this piece of foam insulation here is, is uh, wrapped around one of the pipes that's coming out of the, one of the hoses that's coming out of the pump. And that hose is resting right on the wood there that you see, which transmits that same pump vibration throughout the whole trailer. So anything you can do to separate that insulation, to insulate the vibration from the wood or the hard surface of the trailer, uh, that's the expanding foam that the manufacturer put in when you first, uh, when they when you when they built the trailer, but um, this works quite good. And it's just a little bit of pipe insulation that you get at Home Depot. It's just like this. You buy one rod of it here. I think it's like three bucks, and it comes pre-split down the center. And I just peeled it apart and put it underneath. Great cheap silencing of your water pump. Here's what the uh, inside of the camper shell looks like. You installed a bed rug, which is kind of like a carpet kit. Um, it's, it's, a, it's like a plastic material that's really soft. And then it adds pads underneath here so it levels out all the grooves that are typical in the, the back of a pickup truck bed. Still allows access to your tie down hooks there. And then we also installed a cargo net here at the roof, which holds our solar panels. So that's really nice, keeps them up out of the way, and they're there when we need them. Uh, I also installed a 12 volt plugs here, three of them. So like the cigarette lighter, 12 volt plugs. That makes it really nice for uh, charging batteries. Just have extra power connectors there. Still gives you access to the Ford bed lights. Obviously it's bright so you can't see them, but that's really nice, lights up the whole cargo area. And there's even a third light up here it's a wand light that attaches right here, it lights up the cargo area real nice. What a great little setup. Lots of space to store stuff.
some of the essentials for full-time RV living. You can't have enough of these hooks. Got to have a place to put your razor, or should I say razors. More of those hooks, hand towel, oh, and Velcro. The scandalous video of my wife in the shower. <laughs> Good to me. Nice. Uh, Love it. Put a, put a razor in there. Okay. Look at that. So pretty. <laughs> so pretty. It's the little things. So this is our air conditioner with the uh, cover taken off. This is the intake side and then this is the exhaust side. And what I've done is I've uh, taken foil tape and to help seal up some of the gaps that uh, they miss during manufacturing. You know, they manufacture these, these RVs so quickly that they're not the most thorough. And so if you take um, just foil tape that you can get in the uh, Home Depot HVAC section and seal up these gaps. I had two, like one inch by one and a half inch holes that was just blowing cold air into the cavity between the regular roof and the, uh, the top roof. So that's just wasted cold air. So a little bit of foil tape here can help make your air conditioner more efficient, much more efficient and get the air, the cold air, throughout the uh, the trailer here through these ducts. So a couple of bucks in foil tape, it makes a big difference. I also did it even a little bit here on the, uh, the intake side as well. Just kind of seal it up. Should work great. So one of the other improvements we did is added these uh, upgraded air vents to the uh, air conditioning ducting system. These ducts allow you to open and close the vents. So just by opening like that, I can now have airflow. I can also change the direction of the airflow. Uh, it spins. Um, so if you're in the shower and you don't want air conditioning blowing right on you because it's freezing, you can close it off and uh, stop air conditioning from that part of the room. You know, the ones that came with it look like this, basically the same, but there was no way of closing them off. It always blew uh, cold air. Um, so these are just, I think they're like seven bucks. I think I got them on eBay. JR Products, I think, makes them. But nice, uh, nice little upgrade there to be able to open and close the air duct vents when you want to. Okay, so this is the uh, hardwire setup for the inverter. Here's the inverter, the battery banks, and now this new hardwire plug here, straight 30 amps. So I don't have to use the dog bone pigtail connection to the regular plug. It's used a standard RV plug. That's how I wired it in there. It's pretty straightforward. You got your white to white, black to black, and green to ground. It's just tight quarters, but it works. Got Jenna up on the top of the trailer there cleaning the roof. Doing a bang up job. So four days to go, we're all installed and cleaned up, and uh, we're now loading up the trailer. One of the last things that we added was this control panel here that controls the uh, back batteries, the inverter, the solar panels, and then our Wi-Fi and cellular booster. But that's another video. Hope you enjoyed this one. More to come. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and ask questions in the comments below.